tough cup game against Kilchamanock and it has been tight games over the last couple of seasons and it was the same again today. It was a game that was destined to go to extra time, possibly penalties and it was a game, sort of game, if there was going to be a goal, only one goal was set lip. It turned out to be, it turned out at the right time and you were the man to get again on the end of a Kevin Kettwick cross. How do you describe that moment? Oh jeez, you know, um, scoring a winner in the cup final, there's no better feeling than that in football. Um, scoring a goal in football is even a better feeling, you know. Um, we got the ball down, we started playing towards the end of the game, and we got the ball out wide and came across it, and I knew once it came into me I was going to score. And then it was just a matter of we could um, look it out and just win the game from there. And both sides had chances throughout the game. We had some very good chances, Keane Halpin particularly, in the first half. And there was one great chance for Paul Mee when, when he was played in, in the first half. And the shot was hot, actually on for him, but he looked to play the ball square and they got intercepted on him. And when you're thinking to yourself, um, is it going to be one of these days? And then down the other end, Kilchman Knock, without being awfully dangerous, were fairly threatening with some of the balls being played in. And... The play was dangerous at times, yeah. but at the end, Jack O'Connor forced Gary into a superb reflex save. Yeah, um, yeah look, uh, not good tomorrow, great side. I thought in the first half we, um, we kind of took control of the game for the first 15, 20 minutes, and then we kind of, kind of let them come into the game, and you could see them having more corners and more shots. So we came into half time, and we said if we started the same way that we started the game, we knew we could go on and win it. And then, unfortunately, we didn't start the way we wanted and we let them into the game for about half an hour and then I feel like the last 15 minutes of the game we controlled and we came out deserved winners in the end. Joel always was named to man of the match and for a man that's coming on 40 in October, he's a, pr virtually a, the daddy of the team at this stage, <laughs> but um, when you look at what, what she did, putting in vital blocks and Kiltjeman Oxford threatening on goal and putting in a serious shift out there, yeah. his experience really came to, came to the fore when it was needed. Yeah, exactly. Um, Joel's a great defender, he always has been, and he showed it today as well. And we have to give credit to the other back four and Gary as well. You know, they, had a, they all had brilliant games. Gary probably even nearly won us the game as well, but that save at the end kept us in it. And I thought all the back four, all the back five had a great game today, and that, that kept our clean sheet, and we won the game from there. And I'm sure it's going to be a long night back in Coveyland tonight. They'll be celebrating from the shores of Clue Bay, oh, the yeah. foothills of Clue Patrick, and the banks of the Carabay River, oh, the yeah. baronies of Brochul and Murrisk. I'm sure they'll oh, be yeah. out joining us with the celebrations, and I'm sure tonight is going to be a great night, starting, of course, with our main sponsors, the Castle Core Hotel. Exactly, yeah. It'll be a great night, and we encourage everyone to come out and join us and celebrate this, this magnificent win for our club. And of course, and I think this is your first trophy at Same first team level, level yeah? yeah? And let's hope it's the first of many more. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Keep going on. Thank you very much. Thanks, Cup final day today. And a visit to Solar Tun Tun Park against Kilchman Knock. A side that has really pushed us to the limits in the league and again last year. And pushed us to the limits again today. And we sneak past with a 1 0 win, courtesy of Adam Nugent very late on. Some fine defending by ourselves, and that um, match winning save from Gary Cunningham. We had chances to win it before that, but there's some great defending though, too. Is that how you sum the game up? Yeah, I'd sum it up by saying uh, we showed huge resilience today. Um, something we would have said was missing in the earlier part of the season, and it's been growing and growing from game to game. And today, that resilience was evident. The way we defended, um, how hard we were prepared to work, and we mixed that resilience with a bit of quality. And with a, uh, we had a couple of opportunities before that. Maybe we should have taken, but you know, we were looking for that one chance to come. Adam has the capability to take that chance when it comes. We broke. It was a great move, and it was a fabulous finish by Adam. And you know, I think we deserved that. To beat not three times in a season is an achievement in its own right. They're a very, very good side, and yet we've come out the better of those three fixtures. And you know, we can be very proud of it. And when you look back on the game itself, there has been a lot of half chances really from both sides. And, but the better chances really fell to, to ourselves really, particularly in the first half through Keane Halpin. And there was one great opportunity for Paul when he was played in. And I thought this was one on one, take the shot past the goalkeeper, but she elected to square the ball off to his left. 
Absolutely, you know, we were creating those chances. Um, a little bit more composure and um, we probably would have been in a better position to take them. When Paul got away, he went to square the ball to Keane. Uh, a couple of times when Keane got in behind, he just hesitated a little bit. Um, but again, they're building on the experience all the time. Keane's getting into those positions on a regular basis. Paul is bringing an awful lot of us from that um, role he's playing in the hole. Um, he's getting in behind defences and he, you know, we're, we have a goal threat. Um, and you know, we can be pleased about that. And we're learning and we're developing and we're learning. And the big plus of all that, Kenneth, is to see the, the graft the boys put into that game. That's the plus. That's what we're showing. Young boys like that working that hard um, is the big plus. It was all blows, sweat and tears. And the, defensively, we were solid over the 90 minutes. Joel all is pushing a few great blocks today, actually, when you look back over the, over the 90 minutes. And he was tremendous for his age. But that save from Gary Cunningham from Jack O'Connor after going 1 0 up, that was a real match winning save. But Joe Lawless is outstanding for any age. I mean, he's been brilliant for us all season. Um, leadership, uh, football ability, um, you know, how he brings those young lads through. And again, today, he was absolutely outstanding. He put his body on the line for everything, he was carrying a knock, and yet he still put in a shift like that for us. And uh, we're usually thankful and proud of everything he's achieved. Um, again, another, our captain, Gary, the pull-off, I mean, his handling all game, his handling particular second half, and we were on the, under pressure with a lot of set pieces being delivered into the box, Gary was taking a clean out of the air for us, and like anyone who wants to see um, an absolutely outstanding keeper do his business, go and watch that save, very last shot of the game, to get across like that and to tip it over, it was absolutely brilliant, I thought it was in personally, from the angle I was, um, and I was just so relieved that we had Gary and he managed to get his hand to it. So from the banks of the Carbeg River, to the Fushals of Kilpatrick, the shores of Clue Bay, the Brownies of Bershul and Maersk, the celebrations can begin and the party first begins in the Cascord Hotel, our main sponsors, and I'm sure it's going to be a great night for all the players and everyone involved. Absolutely, and they deserve it, and they deserve to go and celebrate that because all that hard work they put in is now makes sense. It's now something they can go and enjoy together and uh, appreciate. And you know, we certainly intend to do that. We have a brilliant management team here with yourself and Porrick and Michael and Tony and Pat and all the work we put into it. And it's there now with John Hastings and the 21B. So one big group, one big club working incredibly hard for each other. And that's the result. That's the result we get back out of it. And you know, we must celebrate that now. Of course. And, of, and at half time, the semi final draw was made for the Calagas Super Cup. And we've been drawn at home to Moyfellet. I'm sure the lads are aware of it. But um, it's a game we'll be looking forward to in a few weeks' time. And to be honest, um, people might see Moyfellet as the weakest link. But to be honest, we need to be totally focused on that, on that game as if they were Casper Celtic or Ballon Town because they got their own marriage. They pulled off their wins against teams that are supposedly better than them. I just love weak links. I mean, that's, that's just a fool's game. Um, at the end of the day, we have to prepare properly. We have to work incredibly hard over the next month. We have an opportunity to reach another cup final. That's all it is, an opportunity. An opportunity we have to go and take. I'm fairly certain my Villa are looking at going. It's an opportunity for us as well. Um, they're a big, strong, physical side. They're direct and they can play. And uh, we won't be taking it for granted. Not in the slightest. And I'm sure after tonight, there'll be a buzz next week for a cross line away. Absolutely. Um, again, we get back to business. It, Lucky, the, the under 18s have a really big game tomorrow night against uh, Knock again. Uh, we roll into Thursday night where the under 21 A's play Casper Celtic. A game we're all particularly looking forward to. I think it'll be another classic. And um, again, big games all next week. Ballon Road for the Bees. We go to Cross Malina. Another great week of football. And it promises to be a very exciting seven days. And I certainly look forward to all the action as much as yourself. Absolutely. And we celebrate it tonight first. Of course he will, and let the drinks flow, and let the party begin. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. Cup final day today, and a visit to Sola Tuntun Park against Kelterman Knock. A side that has really pushed us to the limits in the league, and again last year. And pushed us to the limits again today. And we sneak past with a 1-0 win, courtesy of Adam Nugent very late on. Some fine defending by ourselves and that um, match-winning save from Gary Cunningham. We had chances to win it before that, but there's some great defending though too. Is that how you sum the game up? Yeah, I'd sum it up by saying uh, we showed huge resilience today. 
um, something we would have said was missing in the earlier part of the season and it's been growing and growing from game to game and today that resilience was evident. The way we defended, um, how hard we were prepared to work and we mixed that resilience with a bit of quality and with a, uh, we had a couple of opportunities before that maybe we should have taken but you know we were looking for that one chance to come. Adam has the capability to take that chance when it comes. We broke, it was a great move and it was a fabulous finish by Adam. And, you know, I think we deserved that. To beat Knock three times in a season is an achievement in its own right. They're a very, very good side. And yet, we've come out the better of those three fixtures. And, you know, we can be very proud of it. And when you look back on the game itself, there has been a lot of half chances, really, from both sides. And, but the better chances really fell to, to ourselves, really, particularly in the first half through Keane Halpin. And there was one great opportunity for Paul... When he was played in and I thought this was one-on-one, -on -one, take the shot past the goalkeeper.